I really don't like hating on people. I am a pretty positive person. I, you won't I be after say. this. <laughs> we are about to convert him to Xbox. I, I say I'm I, pretty. I, I, I'm not dumb, but I am. I would say anyway. Let's just let's get this out the start, please. <laughs> okay, here we go. Over All to right. you, Chili. Uh, Right now, other YouTubers are trying to talk about how Final Fantasy XIV disappointed them, how the newest expansion is one of the worst ever, how the how the story ruined the entire thing, how how like uh, the new girl is like one of the mo most Mary Sue characters in the entire history of Final Fantasy. How this is a bad expansion, right? They're sitting there trying to tell you that Final Fantasy XIV became bad, implying that it yeah. used to be good. And meanwhile, I'm sitting here talking about like, oh, uh. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV was always bad, right? You know, th when you have to shut down your MMO and then relaunch it a year and a half later to fix all the problems, yes, the okay, game... Let's, let's stop here a little bit. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You 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 no no you're not hundred percent wrong. One point was pretty bad. One one point was not it's good. The only thing he gets and, right. Yeah, you're not you're not hundred percent wrong. I still feel like it wasn't the worst game I've ever played. I enjoyed my experience of one point Did my my because I had a I still had a laptop back then. Even I've never really owned a PC. Did my laptop set on fire any time I load the game up? Yes, it did. Did it <laughs> did it feel like I was on fire? Yes, it sure did, but it was a it was an experience, and I enjoyed what I played of it. Um, like there's still some things I'll admit that I wish we'd get back from 1.0 that some people probably think I'm dumb for. Like I know we got the market board, and we've got we got all that, but I would love to see the retainer alleys back where we have our retainers in like as like a shopping mall back back in like 1.0. Basically, Roland Berryfields. Yeah, that it was like how that would like. I would love that to come back in, mm -hmm. in 14. I know you don't need it, but I would like it more of a, a visual thing because mm -hmm. I just, I like, I like that idea. It makes it cool. Um, so yeah, there are some things still in 1.0 and yeah, I can't really defend 1.0. It was bad. It was horrible. I can. 1.23 was good. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I said. That's why I said 1.0. I didn't include right. the patches because they started... With the patches, they started adding really good content, and they started. Well, that's kind of like with any MMO. But one point oh, you're right. You're not wrong. No, one point oh was bad. One point oh was bad. Really bad. You could. Well, only I said MMO. Have... Yeah, but I'm saying one point oh and fourteen was have... bad. We did have job specific underwear, so there's, there's, <laughs> you know, there's pros and yep. cons. That was a thing. So, but, uh, I'm it, not gonna yeah. even touch that. The XP farming was, you know, XP parties were non-existent because it wasn't worth it. Yeah. The only way you could get XP yeah. was through levies, and you could do six yeah. a day, and they took five minutes. And also, rem also remember, you could only teleport a certain amount of times per day. Yep. And also remember that even if you did do a party to level up, um, what happened was you got, like, let's just say uh, your level was a million XP. It wasn't that mm -hmm. high, but let's just, I'm just giving a number. Let's just say right. your XP was a million. You leveled up, and then once you leveled up, they then added an XP cap to how much level you, XP you could get from enemies. So now you would only get 75% XP from kills. And then let's just say you got to 500k XP from there. Because you're overleveled from the mobs that you're fighting. No, no, just in general. There was a level cap per day on how much oh. XP you were allowed per day. You were, they capped you per day so that you... they they. If you XP for more than three hours from mobs gotcha. in a day, you would get zero XP from kills. I think it was about three hours. Yeah. Because they wanted, they literally wanted people to go outside because they didn't want to play the game. If you played the game for too long, the game would stop giving you rewards. You'd stop getting XP. You'd stop getting gil. You'd stop getting everything because they wanted you to stop playing and get off. Right. The developers designed it to stop you from playing. <laughs> oh, and they use the Final Fantasy 13 <laughs> engine to make an MMO. Yeah, it was a fantasy yeah. thirteen. Yeah, okay, I mean, I technically, that. the newest one still kind of uses it, right? Because it's still the backbone of it. Like, it's not the same engine, but it's the backbone of it, right? Yeah, it's it's it's, it's still got the core underneath it. Yeah, yeah, uh, crystal right. tools, right? Mm-hmm.
See, so I'm not a developer, but I know my things. <laughs> Good stuff, Jim. Uh, but no. Ah. Oh. Okay, let's continue. Anyway, just like his videos, by the way. So far, everything described at the start was more like his content more than Final Fantasy 14, but that's just me. <laughs> was a complete disaster right from the get go. But because again, of the decline in power. Again, we're just talking about his content, right? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> popularity of wow because of the failures of like you know every other mmo in existence and because of like the rabid nature of final fantasy fanboys final fantasy 14 has essentially kept square enix on life support for the for the past several years right like the only reason square enix has been surviving like the ps4 era is is because of final fantasy 14 and it is one of the most embarrassing things I've ever seen, right? Uh, this was a game that clearly had a lot of problems right from the get-go, but we've seen over and over and over again everyone trying to make excuses for it, everyone trying to justify it, everyone trying to tell you that, like, no, no, you don't understand. They'll they'll patch the game to be better. It's it's still better than WoW. Like, they are essentially like the MMO addict. Uh, uh, but they have. They have <laughs> patched the game to be better. And that's any online service game that has existed. In fact, World of Warcraft did the opposite and patched it to be worse with Shadowlands. <laughs> yeah, uh, my uh, son has something to say about Shadowlands. There no, is another I can't game. say much because... Uh, what's that? Concord. They patched <laughs> it so everyone can play it and it still didn't get anyone playing it. Yep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Don't oh, choke now, Chili. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, By the way, chat. No. no, go, Chili. Sorry, go. No, go, go, go. No, carry on. It's okay. I was going to say, I say that, but Shadowlands is my only WoW experience, so I can't really say much. Ooh, I'm sorry. For those of you that yeah. want to check I... out some Final Fantasy XIV footage or gaming, um, obviously I play Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, if you guys want, tomorrow over at Twitch, I can stream it. So if there's interest for you guys to check out 14, or you can go and check out Chili stream as well, because that dude just plays 14 all day. Uh, that's uh, why no, I wanted taking, him to I'm, react I'm to this. Actually, I'm actually taking a small break from it. Just, uh, <laughs> I think because I've been playing it every day since Dawn Trail, and I want a couple of days to play some other games. Okay, so, so you can come and check me out. Um, then. Yeah, come check him out. because I'm. Or you I'll can hop back in and play with him. Party up. I'll be Different checking server. the man the mana games because like uh, oh, not mana. Visions of mana. Is it? Yeah, visions of mana. Well, is it the, the one that comes out at the end of the month? But I okay. found out on PlayStation Plus all the old ones are free. Yep. So I've downloaded all the old ones. So I'm gonna step into one of those for a little bit. But I own all uh, the old ones already. Back. My plan is to play Final Fantasy 14 three days out of the four. But like I just want one day to just play uh, something else. Uh, Force says, how much is Fantasy 14? Well, this is where the great thing is and why I can't agree with this guy at all in any way. Like, it might, it might be the best, uh, the greatest thing for you, but there is a free trial that allows you to play all the way up to the expansion Stormblood for no cost at all. Uh, this yep. will allow you to try out the game for as an unlimited amount of time. Um, so, yeah, you can go check out the, the all the, uh, well, two of the expansions, well, yeah, two of the expansions and the base game for free with no with no time limit. You yeah, let, Heaven's you Sword know. and Stormblood. There, there are some limits to it. Like, yeah, you, know, you will have to look those up because I can't remember off the top of my head. There are some like limits, but that's mainly to try and stop with um, guild up sellers. Up to level anything. 70, right? Well, no, I'm just like, there's a guild cap, there's FC cap, there's party cap. Yeah. Like, there's yeah, some it limits because it's mainly to, mainly to try and stop, yeah, bots. But you but let like, me down, Chile. You... Why did I let you down? Because you had the perfect moment to turn around and say, have you heard of the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV? Because everyone like, says it. I want to say it normally. <laughs> like don't... an actual sentence. No, you say it exactly how it's supposed to be said. <laughs> Fine. Have it... you tried the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV that allows you to go all the way up to the end of Stormblood with no limits and all that stuff? Go play it. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you, or wow. you can go try World of Warcraft that lets you play for like 10 minutes in the free trial before you, you cap. And then Two hours. <laughs> yeah, sure. 
But yeah, you can play on Xbox, uh, PlayStation, or anywhere. Yeah. On Xbox, if you are yeah. starting the game new, I will say this. Do not subscribe to... Uh, don't use the Game Pass Ultimate perk, where it gives you the starter pack. Go into the store, download the free trial, like he said, um, and that gives you unlimited access to the game up to level 70, up to the end of the story campaign of Stormblood. So you get to play free expansions. Um, and if you're on the EU servers, then we can play together. I guess if you're on the NA, we could always go to the SEA servers and play there too. Um, what perk is no longer there, Darkwing? I'm oh, the, the free copy of... Yeah, the free copy. Because that was always a scam. They did oh, that deliberately... Yeah to scam people into getting that, to force them into the subscription. That was Microsoft's way of trying to, unfortunately, trick the player base into getting something that they really never should have done. Um, right. It's really cheap. But I will 10 say, bucks, but it wasn't worth it. I will say, though, that if you are a current player on both PC and PlayStation, and you decide to go to Xbox, um, you know, you decide that you want to purchase it for Xbox because you want to play it on, like... Um, that if you do purchase on the best Dawn console Trail, out there, you on, can say it. On if you do play buy Dawn Trail on Xbox, um, you will also get the 30 days free subscription added to your account, even if you've already purchased it, because it's considered a different license. So each license will give you the 33 days. So yes. it, will, cool. it will still get you will still get the 30 extra days added if you purchase a so if you've already have it for PlayStation, you buy it for Xbox, you get 30 days. If you buy it for Xbox and decide later on you want to buy it for PlayStation, you will get the 30 days. Um, and I would recommend that if you do buy on PC to buy it from Square Enix Store and not from Steam. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem well. that, like do just... something shady with that. Yeah. And that, that and then everyone's going to kill me because I didn't say Steam was the greatest thing of all time. No, because I don't have it on Steam either and I haven't transferred it to Steam. Good. I want my client yeah. to be individual. I mean, I don't. That you gotta make the. My main thing. My main thing is though. Yeah, I know Steam doesn't go down often, but that is still a chance for a breakage when logging in. Like, yep. you, if you're if it's just Square Enix, it's just you Square Enix the game. If it's Steam, you have to go Steam Square Enix the game. And even if there's like a zero point one percent chance that Steam breaks, there's still that's still yep. two logins instead of one login. So you're adding a a, a point of breakage well you can actually add it to login for you so it's still just one login yeah. but that's besides the point spoken like a yeah. true addict he cannot be without it for even a day <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, i'm gonna play it <laughs> but anyway um um well i guess we'll continue with what he says about okay. why he thinks it's the worst game of all time yeah, we're only we're not even two minutes in chat. MMO equivalent of like those guys who try to tell you that like Nikkei has good gameplay. Nikkei has amazing gameplay. It those asses, gameplay. it does. Those ass jiggles are amazing. That's like the best like, gameplay like, you'll ever see. I I haven't played it in a while when I should play it more, but I do enjoy my Nikkei gameplay. It's fun. It like is. It, even even if not just for, even if you're not looking at the pervy way, it is just a fun, simple shooting game. And it's it is enjoyable. a great single handed game. Yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. Single player shooter game. Single handed single player game. Sing it's an SFPS. <laughs> <laughs> right, we can continue. <laughs> Like <laughs> they're the they're the they're the Final Fantasy equivalents of those guys who try to who try to justify throwing like twenty dollars on like a a swimsuit JPEG of like one of those girls like it's like what are you doing uh, wait like what wait, only twenty dollars wait only twenty dollars what what game are you... I want to buy that game I want it for only twenty dollars when is 14 20 dollars I, I wish i had mine for 20 chili bucks. come out paying 100 bucks for a skin <laughs> <laughs> look if that skin has custom voice lines emotes and maybe a banner and if it's it, it, i'm just saying the skin might be a gacha skin you you might be paying 100 dollars because of random rmg right <laughs> all right carry on sorry I'm very tempted at this moment, and I, I, I feel really bad for it, too. 
are you doing <laughs> with yourself? Like, again, that is the Final Fantasy XIV audience, right? They have spent so much time playing this game. They have spent so much time committed to it. They have spent so much time, like, you know, uh, paying paying the fees and, like, paying for every expansion and, like, spending every waking moment, like, you know, fishing and just going on these quest lines and Woo! doing all this stuff. Fishing! Like... See? Sorry, he said fishing. I like fishing. See? Look, fishing's awesome. <laughs> Uh, me, why why are you shit i'm sorry for swearing but why are you shitting on fishing like every <laughs> rpg has fish. i so didn't many, say uh, anything so many games he did it was like i bet they were doing fishing but chat we did it we did it you even fish in sea of stars which just came out recently we got chili to really... swear we okay. did it we said oh. he he said he wouldn't do it because he doesn't like doing it but we got him to do it, so that means there's hopes of converting him to an Xbox uh, fan. There's hope. There's hopes. Uh, yep. We've, we've broken the first wall. Player. Legend, you, you're a Nintendo fanboy, right? He he's a complete Nintendo fanboy, right? That's his that's his thing, right? He, he loves his he is. Nintendo. He is, yeah. If it's not Nintendo, Legend he tries of, to shit on it. Legend of Zelda has fishing. There's even R. I was watching a video about RNG with I think it's Legend of Zelda, is it Majora's Mask or Ocean or Oracle of Time? I don't know which one it was, where you you have a chance to jump into a waterfall and there's a chance for a really rare rupee to happen during a, a gambling mini game. I'm sure you spent much more time doing well, that random it. mini game than I have done fishing in 14. The there's fishing in so many games. So, why are you... Ah. Okay, please. Don't have an aneurysm now, Chili. Jeez. I've got raided in 45 minutes. Okay. I don't want to you got raided in 45 minutes. Okay. We might want to finish this video then. Let's go. They have spent so much time obsessing over a below average product, a bad video game, they oh, have shit. somehow warped their perspective. To the point where, like, they genuinely believe the game was always good. And that this development... No! no. We, we, we knew it was bad. People even still say that 2.0 is bad. I don't think it's that bad. I thought it was okay. Like, I understand what they had to go through to get 2.0 made. But I, I also agree when people say it's bad. People say it's bad. That's fine. They I will have add, their opinion. I will add that them changing... Praetorium and Meridian from 8 player to 4 player was a bad move. It was the wrong yeah. move. Uh, 4 says, does 14 need Xbox Live to play? I think it does. Uh, unfortunately, it does. It does. So this is this was the issue that I had with it, Force. The, uh, the free trial doesn't need Xbox Live because it's free to play. Uh, you can play up to level 70, which is why I've told everyone that wants to try the game or play the game, even if you are interested in the game and you actually genuinely like it, play the free trial up to level 70 before you decide to do anything. That's a lot of content that you've got there. We're talking hundreds of hours worth of content. But unlike PlayStation, who doesn't require PlayStation Plus, PC, which requires nothing, even the 360, the Xbox 360, when you were playing Final Fantasy XI, didn't require Xbox Live. Final Fantasy XIV does because Xbox wanted it to. And so you pay for your subscription and Xbox Live as well in order to play it. And there's no reason why they do that, other than the fact that they want to double, they want to make people double dip. Even if uh, they didn't have Xbox Live before, in order to play 14, they have to double dip into getting a sixty pound thing, a year subscription. That is one of the things that I do not agree that Xbox did. Uh, one of the things that I have a huge gripe with on this game because it, it, it. It, it, there's no reason for it. There's no need for it. Their justification is that because you have to pay money for a boxed product, that puts it into the category of it requiring Xbox Live. I'm sorry, the game doesn't use any Xbox Live features at all. It doesn't use any Xbox Live servers. It doesn't use anything to do with the Xbox Live uh, framework. As soon as you log in, you go straight to the Square Enix servers. You, you no longer have any interaction with Xbox's servers. Why mm -hmm. they're charging you money to play that game online is out of order for Xbox fans. But this is something that Yoshi P fought against for years to yep. change. 
and Xbox would not change. Because we would have got Final Fantasy yeah. 14 years ago. Years ago. But, you know, the Xbox leadership at the time said, no, you had to have Xbox Live. And Yoshi P turned around and said, if that's going to be the case, we are not putting it on your platform. And, and Xbox wanted private servers. And Xbox wanted private servers at the time as well. They did not the, want you playing with PC or PlayStation. Yeah. yeah. No, no, not no, dedicated. dedicated. Xbox no. servers. Oh, yeah, okay. you, you could only have what you could play. Where, basically, they were letting it so that you could play with PlayStation and PC players, but right. you had to have an option of certain servers where you could only play with Xbox players. They right. wanted it so that they had their own individual servers. I mean, why not? Um, PlayStation does it. You can turn off play uh, cross play with PC. No, with 14. Well, maybe not with 14, but yeah. On most but of no, their other you, games that are multi platform. Yeah, yeah, but 14, yeah. you can't. You can't turn it off. No, you right. can't turn it off. Um, you're uh, in Stormblood? Fact, that's one of the things you've got to make. Sorry. No, yeah, you're in Stormblood. That's one of the things you have to turn on on your Xbox to play 14 because mm. Xbox also has that setting. And if you have that off, you can't load up Final Fantasy 14. Um, as long as so. it has character customization, I'm down. <laughs> See, Chili, it I does. thought... Um, not Chili, uh, Devastator. Uh, for me, Stormblood was a tale of two halves. I didn't like the... Alan Mahegan story, but the other half of the story was phenomenal. Yeah, force just give the trial download, see how you feel. Like it's not for everyone. I enjoy the game a lot. I played a lot of hours into the game. Like I put several thousands of days of hours into the game, and I enjoy it. <laughs> but I, I'm not. I'm. I under, also understand that it's not for everyone. Mm. And yeah, yeah. This guy doesn't seem to understand that people understand that. He I mean, even I tried 14 back when Heaven's Ward was coming out. I got it, downloaded it on my PlayStation 4, and I played it for maybe a week and never touched it again. Okay. It's a real shame, but I was giving it a shot at least. Anyway, carry Continue. on. Um, and yeah, Force, it does have thing. Um, character creation. You create a character. Yeah, it does. You can only create there a are some There's no sets. I just there are some characters, by the, way, by the way, there are some characters that are locked off to the future expansion packs, so you won't have every every character. Well, yeah. Like, So, you know, just a warning about that. But if you do like it and you get the latest expansion, they give you a Fantasia so you can change your looks anyway. Yeah, and the quest is just from Oldar. It's a low-level quest. You can just do the quest to pick up the Fantasia for free. And if you finish the MSQ, you also get another um, Fantasia. So you can change your yeah, character the, whenever you like. Yeah, if you do the 2.0 MSQ, you get the um, you get the, a free Fantasia as well. Building the ultimate yeah. waifu. Build it and That's let's fantasy. see it, dude. Build it and let's see it. I'm, I'm excited. Share it in the Discord. Yep, share it in my um, Discord. I'm excited. But right, like, let's I, I will be, before we move on quickly, uh, mm -hmm. though you do not need PlayStation Plus to play Fantasy 14 online. Uh, if you do have PlayStation Plus, you can get a free teleport location inside the game as that is a reward true. you can claim once a month. Um, so they don't. But that's it. That's you. all it. That's all it does. They benefit you. Yeah, but that's all it does. You but don't yeah, need I'm, it, but you do get a benefit. I was really it. upset when uh, Xbox decided to still stick to that. We, you need an Xbox Live subscription to play mm -hmm. because anyway, certain some people who don't have Xbox Live at all. But just play the games, single player games and stuff like that. That wanted to play fourteen, uh, or just get game, or who would have got normal Game Pass, which didn't include online, because right. you had the Game Pass that didn't have online mode, right? You just yeah. just for the games. Maybe they have uh, that. They don't have Game Pass Ultimate. Game Pass console. Yeah, yeah, console. Anyway, right. that before I want to punch him, let's carry on. <clears throat> Is new, it's strange, and awful for the, the community. That, 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 like, this Final Fantasy 14 being bad is a new thing. Like, how dare they make Final Fantasy 14 a bad video game? How dare they do this to my MMO? The one MMO that stuck. Like, how dare they do this to Final Fantasy. Like, oh, I'm gonna blame Woke Culture. I'm gonna blame Square Enix. I'm gonna blame e I'm gonna blame everyone except 
the game itself, right? Like, I'm going to make every excuse under the sun. I am going to do everything I can to protect this product, to protect Square Enix, to protect the the people who made the, the who allowed side, this sorry. to happen. The thing is, though, the p- things I've seen people complain about are basically that, like, people have enjoyed the new dungeons because they're quite difficult and they're challenging. People have enjoyed a lot of the battle combat changes because they've added... Some of them aren't that great, I'll admit that. Like Black Mage and I've heard Viper changes recently aren't great. But people have enjoyed and loved the experience of the new... So, it really is just the story that's a bit rough. And although I enjoyed the story myself, I can understand why some people didn't like it. And for a game like Final Fantasy XIV, which has prided itself on story, especially with... Shadowbringers and Endwalker, where people have come in for those major expansions, which were, by the way, wrapping up the story a ten-year arc. So of course they're going to have more plot than we with this new adventure where we're starting now. It's like comparing this to Endwalker when really we should be comparing this to A Realm Reborn. Um, like, yeah, I understand. I understand why some people found the story not for their liking. I myself enjoyed every minute of it, and as I've said on Twitter several times, at the end of Dawn Trail was, was pretty much one of the first times I'd nearly cried playing a game for a while. I got really sad. So, anyway, carry on. Yeah, the ending of Dawn Trail really hit me. Yeah. Um, hit me harder than Endwalker. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't Endwalker, care how people felt about what is The thing with Endwalker was up until the ending, it felt like everything <laughs> was on the line, and then it wasn't. And at that yeah. point, you kind of... <laughs> Didn't ha- it didn't have that impact? Yeah. I mean, the only thing that I was cheerful about Endwalker, I guess, was when I gave into Xenos's desires. That was excellent. I yeah. loved the way he reacted to that. That was that amazing. Was, that was yeah. beautiful. The way Square Enix thought about it's that. Why, it's why I'm. Re- I know. I guess spoilers for the raid, but like, I know people get pissed off, but you know that a lot of the characters that we've seen are like shard versions of the you know, our version, our characters. Like, yeah, yeah, or, yeah. Like, I really. My dream, and it won't happen. My dream is that the owner of the raid is is a shard of Xenos. Mm. I want Xenos back. He was so good. Like I want the owner of the raid to be a shard of Xenos that hasn't met us because, of course, we're not on that shard. So because he loves fighting so much, but he hasn't got us to 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 fight against, so he's got no one to go with his desires. He's opened up this tournament so he can challenge the strongest fighters in the realm by having them fight each other until they get to the end and then they fight him. And for those of you that don't know what he means by shards, think of Marvel's multiverse. It's yeah. essentially the same thing. Sorry, sorry. Sorry for using... But right, no, right. like... Uh, let's carry on. I don't... Yeah. But I don't want to And also, I'm going to post about how Final Fantasy 16 is also really good and that you're a, you're a bigot if you don't like it. Again, how have things gotten this bad how exactly are people so delusional that they actually believe mmo rpgs are like a good use of your time you know who I mean, they are. out there seriously thinks that like oh i i want to spend four hours every day playing mmo so i can grind materials and like do absolutely nothing with my real life you know like who who th- yeah chili i mean <laughs> Has he ever played Final Fantasy fourteen? Yeah, where like you can pretty much get everything done in about an hour, and then you don't have to. Gacha games are worst. <laughs> you... Look, okay, if you really care about end game raiding, you will have to do more hours. But if you're just a casual player that just enjoys the video game, there is no real grinding. You can you get everything get from the quests. Gear. You can get everything from quests. You can either do get dungeon gear at the end, or you can buy crafted gear with the money you probably made from doing the quests, or just from a friend or whatever, just socializing, because most of the crafted gear, by the time you get to that point, is going to be really cheap. All like, the with there's always catch, always multiple different catch-up mechanics in Final Fantasy XIV. There is no, oh, I have to spend four hours to grind stuff. Ah... Uh, I did good getting chili onto this one, didn't I? I'm not going to touch that with a 10-foot pole. All right, let's continue. Um, We're only I'm halfway sorry. through. Yeah. 
that it took right, salty right. with Genshin and Honkai Impact. My wife is. No, you no. see? You see? Force, I sit here, you see what I we sit, have to put up with? I sit, I sit here grinding Dokkan Battle all the time. I'm, this weekend's World uh, World <laughs> Tournament. I'm going to be sat here for hours grinding World Tournament. I'm going to spend more hours grinding my mobile games this weekend than I will spend this entire month playing Fantasy XIV. So. I do the same too. I do grind those gacha games. Got to be careful what I say. <laughs> Wife plays uh, Cookie Run Kingdom on her tablet and her phone. We grind good, chat. <laughs> I actually played Dokken Battle myself. Way. All right, carry on. <laughs> that? Like, who looks at something like Final Fantasy XIV and is just like, oh, I want to spend my life playing that? Like, I do. Do you have to go, go outside? Is is my it's advice warming. to you? Like you can grind no. money. Okay. You can grind. One second. <laughs> can I show him a mirror? Can I also tell him to go outside? He w- can't yeah. see a mirror because it would crack before it gets to his face. Can, can I be like? Oh, can I like? Was it Yu Gi Oh? Can I use um like? Was that Yu Gi Oh move, moved where you rever- reverse of? Can I just show? Can I let get, let just start a him go outside? How about this? No I'll, make a deal. I'll go. I'll go outside if you do. Yeah, I don't think he knows the way there out. There we go. I mean, he's literally in a dungeon basement. I mean, to be fair, I, I I'm also in the basement, but you're in a basement for a different reason, though. Your house is built that way. He's in an actual basement. Yeah, and also I will clear it up. Although I am in the basement flat, the house is on an elevation from the road. So even yeah. though I'm in the flat's basement, I can see I am on the pe- main pavement. So I am not like underground still. I am still there is still sun coming into the into the, the to the room. Like it is like it's the ground floor, but isn't. Yeah, it's weird. Anyway, carry on. It resources it by working a job. Here. You know, you can socialize with other people by going outside, okay? You don't need Final Fantasy XIV. You don't need this video game to, like, to grind it, okay? Like, what exactly made you so enamored with this mediocre RPG? Like, what exactly got you so hooked on this mid prop? Okay. Um, okay. So I enjoy the story. Now I know you said go outside and meet real friends, but guess what? I have played the game, and guess what, Mister Mister Harmon? I have actually gone outside and gone to completely different countries in the world. I have flown to completely different parts of the world to meet said people. So I've got I've got to experience locations that I would have never experienced. Because I was able to play this MMO. Because thanks to my bonds and chatting with people, I was able to visit North America. I was able to visit all. I've I've been to uh, I've not been to London, but I've been to France. I've I've been to all different countries because of this game. One day maybe Japan. Who knows? But I've been able to go to Vegas. I've even been to Wisconsin, but because of a Final Fantasy MMO, like nice i've been to areas that i would never have ever visited if it wasn't for the bond that i've made with people thanks to fantasy 14. And when's the next event in london or britain that? when's the next uh, event in britain it was this be year. a couple of years right yeah it was this year it's oh they already had it yeah yeah oh, that's right you went to it didn't you chili chili did yeah. i couldn't go right yeah thank you to the pr team for the invite for that by the way I think it was like um, hundred and eighty-five pound a ticket. The last time I went, which was yeah. a few years ago, it oh, was. Oh, you talking about FanFest? Yeah, FanFest. Um, I went thank to you, again. Uh... Thank you to PR team for the ticket. Because <laughs> so. um, I wanted to. No. Um, what is it? Go? I went with my son last time. We had a. It was an right. amazing experience. But we paid but like next time uh, was... sixty-five pound a ticket. This time it was a hundred and eighty-five pound each. I couldn't afford 400 at the time. Next time, Chaos, contact me, okay? <laughs> oh, yes. If, if, if you can what... hook me up, that'd be great. I'll do. I'll, I'll see what I do. I can do, okay? Sweet. I have to save up I, money I... and see if my passport is up to date, and I'll come and join you. And nice. to prove... Again, I can't promise anything, but... Like, no, no, I, I appreciate that. I, I get that. But just to help you out as well, 
a day before you contact anyone, I'll play Final Fantasy fourteen on stream. <laughs> nice. But no, like, um, if it were, like, he says go outside, but I, like, thanks for the Final Fantasy fourteen. like, I'll, I'll tell the story again. Um, I, Not only do I, you go outside, I, you travel I'm, the world. I've got, like, I got tickets to the North American Fan Fest as press pass because they invite, because most of my our press, our press contacts are US. So I got a press pass to the North American Fan Fest. Now, at that time, I couldn't afford the flights to America. They got me the tickets for the event, but I couldn't afford the flights. Right. Like, I, was, I had nearly enough, but I just, you know, it was too sudden. I didn't have the money. And then one of the communities at the time, She Hills I Tank, decided to do a fundraiser to raise money to help me fly over to America so that I could do the event. Awesome. So if it wasn't for the community... I would not have been able to experience 2018 Fan Fest because they helped me get there. Nice. And so I, I, that's why I love the community so much. And that's why I've done so many things because of this community. And I've gone outside for it. Have you, what have you, what, I, can I, uh, now I've pointed out all these different friends that I have, Harmon. What about you? Can, can I, can I hear one of yours? He's got what, less than a thousand followers on his YouTube? He has no friends. Oh, oh. I didn't say friends. I I'm said sorry. followers. But do you know what? <laughs> do you know what, Chili? You missed out the one person that I know you know who I'm talking about. That you, uh, mm. I remember you telling that you met what, 314. Did you not? The mm-hmm. absolute legend. The one and only. The yeah. true Yoshi P? pinnacle peak. No, no, even greater than Yoshi P. There is someone you met thanks to Final Fantasy XIV that transcends yeah. everyone. Okay. Break it to me again. Oh, yeah, yeah I met you. Me? I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember if I met you before Final Fantasy XIV or after it, to be honest. No, we met through Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah. Yeah. We met through Final so... Fantasy XIV. And we've been friends for years now. Yeah, it's been a long time now. Thank you for putting up with me. See, <laughs> see, Harmon, see, you're not a bad dude, happens. Chili. Just a pony. Uh, yeah, nay. You're I'm a proper pony. Though. That's the difference. You're not a fanboy pony. Uh, uh, yes, I'm just Chili happy when has you give met me a Yoshi. Sublick. Yeah, I've met Yoshi. Uh, I even got to meet what's got the voice actors of um, Alice Eight Alpha Node. Clive from Final Fantasy 16 and Fancred. It was a nice Ooh. meal before the media tour, before the nice. uh, fan fest. Uh, they invited a load of uh, media to a meal. Where they, by the way, they gave me money, which I gave back because the money they gave me was all in dollars that I couldn't use. <laughs> They're like, here is four hundred dollars in vouchers that are only available that only work in America. I mean, I've gotten to meet wrestlers. Does that count? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. I got to meet Dwayne Johnson. I lived down the street from him. Nice. Uh, I, I've met Hideo Kojima. Mm, nice. nice. Cool. The only other famous things I've ever done really is like, I need to find it, but you remember the original Gladiators? Yeah. I, I got to see the original Gladiators as well. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, when it was being recorded. Um, so. <laughs> so you mean if we go back and watch old episodes, we'll actually see you in the crowd somewhere? Yeah. And I'm surprised my mom never got kicked out, but I'm not going to go any further than that. <laughs> anyway, let's carry on. Product. Why exactly are you so obsessed with promoting this idea that this game was ever good? It's not. It never was. It never will be. And I have always maintained that. And again, this is uh, the next step of the cl- of the decline in Square Enix. So just pausing this here for a super chat directed at Chili. Chili met a Yoshi. Did he go to Mario World? Yahoo! Thank you for that two-level super chat. Uh, like, uh, you know, considering the failure of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which, uh, by the way, most pe- uh, people are still in denial over, like, this is... Um, I mean, it didn't no. really fail that much. What I mean, failed? it didn't really rebirth. Rebirth failed hard. I wouldn't consider it a fail. It failed less than uh, FF16. Yeah, but FF16. 
they I expected sold less out. than three million, and Rebirth sold about uh, two point four million. Yeah, but Rebirth is a sequel to a remake. Like I, there's always going to be drop, which is a reimagining. Yeah, yeah. So that that was going to like I. I went in expecting to have slightly worse sales. I didn't expect it to be that bad, but I yeah, expected to have the slightly worse sales than remake because you people are going to have to pay for a remake. It's why part three is going to have even worse sales because it, you're, people are going to go into part three knowing that they have to play part one and part two, which is several hundred hours to 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 yeah you know, in their minds to play part three. So anyway, I don't consider it a fail. It wasn't great, but I wouldn't consider it a fail. Anyway, sorry. You got to take that? How? Um, you get, you got to stand for that? I mean, there's not really much to say. It's, it is what it is. As a big Final Fantasy fan myself, the only two that I didn't really play were the online versions. And like I said, you know, nothing against the games. <laughs> I'm sure, you know, the job systems are great and all that. And it, it has the MMO capabilities. I personally just don't think it should have ever been made into an online game. Not saying it's not good. But 16 Remake and Rebirth were shit for various reasons. Chitty, yeah. you want a rebuttal for this? I enjoyed okay. I sixteen wasn't my favorite because although I like action based games, I don't think I'll ever go back to it. Unlike a lot of other games, because that's I don't really play through games more than once, uh, especially action based games. And ever since the right hand on my injury with my right wrist, I found it difficult to play those fast paced tiles anyway. Ever since I had the surgery, so. Um, well, we'll see. Fifteen, I disagree with because they started moving away from the party system. You still had your extra people, but you only ever controlled the main character, Noctis. You can give commands to the other ones, but you never could actually, like, until the DLCs came out, that you could never physically control the other characters. They went further into the RPG aspect of 16, can I which say, was way out there. Can I say, can I say, hopefully you don't like um, Dragon, uh, uh, what's great? Um Dragon Age Valley Yard then when it comes out this year. Valeyard? Yeah, because the fact that they're limiting the party control. I mean, I've always liked the Dragon Age games except for the second one. Um, I'm going to at least give Valeyard a try and the little woman loves so you, Dragon Age herself. And I have the collective on... edition of the original Dragon Age Origins. I mean, I enjoyed Dragon Age Origins, and I actually didn't mind Dragon or uh, Dra Dragon Age Two. Uh, Inquisition, I wasn't a big fan of, but that's only because, as I've said previous before, I'm not an open world fan, and so once you make your mm. game open world, I kind of lose interest in the game. But that depends is... on if they do the open world well. Inquisition kind yeah. of did; it, it was hit and miss. Why I, yeah, that's why I wasn't. I, I not. That's why I didn't say it's a bad. That's why I've never said it's a bad game. It's just not my game. And but I'll have to see how Veilguard does. Although, yeah, Devastator, um, I saw that it has a setting for removing death. Uh, but no. I'm not going to be playing I with that. I will say, though, if you haven't good. played Pharmacy 15 in a while, remember you can, you can actually now make your own character as a full character customization in Pharmacy 15. You can make your own character and play as them in Why? the whole campaign. That, that's weird. It is weird. Yeah, you, can now, you can now do that with Final Fantasy 15 if you've never gone back and played it again. That is weird. I mean, I, I already demolished everything in that game that there is to demolish, so there's no point for me to yeah. ever go back to it. The whole unless I just want to play the game anyway. You're playing as Noctis to play through his story. What happens when you yeah, go to I, Luna Freya? You're no longer the prince. <laughs> oh, I love 12, Susano. Uh, the Gambit system was absolutely I, stellar. I hated 12. Really? Why? Twelve was just eleven offline. I don't know. That's why I didn't like it. I could already have <laughs> eleven. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. But twelve is basically eleven offline. All the mechanics yeah, in yeah, there, like the yeah, monster hunting and everything, 11. is basically. It's I like the, same the fact what? that the gambit system was allowing you to yeah, give yeah. party members actions that are predetermined, depending on what you want them to do to act that way. Yeah, the gambit system was the only good thing about twelve that I liked. 
Well, the story the game system bad. essentially went into Final Fantasy XI and fourteen with the yeah. trust system. Right. Just a modified version. But I, 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 I love the Gambit system so much. I, oh. But to answer like, your question, I will give Veilguard a try. I can't say whether it's going to be good or not, but I know the wife loves the Dragon Age series, so it, it's a game that I will be getting. But yeah, no, I I can't even remember what he was saying now, which is makes me so happy that I can't remember anything he's been talking about. So let's oh, carry on. Three more minutes. Oh, Lord. All right. The end of their cash cow, I think. Like, if Final Fantasy XIV falls off, if people stop playing, if they stop paying for these expansions, like, uh, the game is going to fade off into irrelevancy. And uh, they will not be able to pull back their audience, right? They are. It is going to stagnate. It is going to become irrelevant. It is not going to be able to remain competitive. Like, it is going to return to just... Uh, a constant decline for Square Enix, right? It is going to be the next blunder in a long line of blunders. And I do think it needs to be said that um, this has been a long time coming. You know, Square Enix deserves everything bad that happens to them. You know, Final Fantasy XIV should not have released in the state it was back in the day, right? Uh, okay. You know, they well, should yeah, never... But, like, I wouldn't... I would never go up to someone and say, ha ha, I've just kicked you in the shins. You deserve that all along. Like, no, that's just mean. Why are you so why are you so mean? Like, I don't like Microsoft, but I'm not gonna go up to Microsoft so soft and go, ha ha, you 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 didn't have any games for six months. You deserve oh, that. Shit, he's attacking us, chat now. Who is? Chili, he he he, he just talking. threw that bomb in there. Chat, did you hear him? Oh, we're talking about Microsoft. Xbox, Xbox didn't have no games for eight months. I mean, it's true for, since Starfield. Well, no, they have Power World. And I said six and they months. did, and they did come with, with other games. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they they did come but out like, with other I'm games just... in the meantime on Game Pass that were day ones. But like, guess what? I'd rather hype up the fact that. The fact that you've got like a bajillion games coming out now with Indiana Jones, Stalker 2, um, oh, absolutely. I guess WoW Within, but I don't, War Within. War Within like, wow. that's coming later this month, like, yeah. Um, there's, like, there's so many that I can't remember off the top of my a head. Raw, a Raw, Avowed. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a lot. I mean, just like, look you've at. You've got a lot of games coming out, and I'd rather hype up the fact that you've got games all this coming behind out me than to insult a game for what's ha what they've done before. Same with Sony. Same. Sony's had a really rough this year. Like it's it's there's no games out this year really. That's first party Sony games that I really, to be honest, except for well, Remaster and you've got Concord and, and Astro maybe Astrobot. Yeah, and Helldivers. So, there's the only two. No, Helldivers is not. No, no Helldivers is a second party. Yeah, second party. Helldiver, yeah, Helldivers. But, is a but party. isn't the game fully funded by Sony? No. Probably no. They supported no, no. funding. But it's the same it, thing it's still owned too, by right? Airhead. Although I fully expect Stalker 2 is going to be bought by Microsoft. Yeah. It hasn't I been mean, yet. Know, so... I've... Anyway. I've... Yeah. Anyway, I don't want to go to leave too much on this, but like I just want to say that like I, I hate the fact that he he's pooper on in this way because like I I just don't like when people do that. Like anyway, carry on. I'd rather be positive. I'd be half glass full than half glass empty. True. Have abandoned Nintendo hardware to develop exclusively for PlayStation. Right? They should never that's it. have. That's 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 <laughs> it. We finally got to the moment that we were talking about. He was. Yeah. That is what the Nintendo fanboy is crying that Nintendo pooped the bed with Final Fantasy. Not 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 Square. This was Nintendo. Nintendo yep. pooped the bed with Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy VI, there is actually a build. Well, sorry, Final Fantasy VII, there is actually a build that they were working on for the um, I've seen N64. It. I've seen it. That it was it was being worked on. It was originally planned as an exclusive game for the N64, but due to the cartridge limitations of the time, they were unable to port the game over to N64. So they had to go to Sony because the CD-ROM had the ability to have more data, more storage. So they're able to have the game that they wanted in Vision. If Nintendo yep. had gone to CD, 
And don't forget, it was also on PC. Yeah, on PC as well, eventually. Um, and it's on everything now, by the way. We're talking about original launches. Like, it was on PC true, as well, true. eventually. But, but like, uh, if you wanted, like, Nintendo could have easily got Pharmacy 7. They would have, though, as a, a I would have said, I, I would have, I would have wondered. I would, I would have wondered in that timeline, would Europe have ever, would Final Fantasy have even succeeded past like eight or nine? Because you've got to remember, he's talking about these wonderful Nintendo Final Fantasy titles, but Europe never got a single Final Fantasy game until the PlayStation releases. That's true. That's unless, a good you point. Count Fantasy, unless you count Final Fantasy Legends, which was no. not a Final Fantasy no. game, which is a mana game that was rebranded as Legend, as Final yeah. Fantasy. Good game. Though. So. We not got a single Final Fantasy game in Europe until seven. So would Final Fantasy have succeeded if it would stayed exclusive Nintendo wait, wait, and wait. possibly been still exclusive to North America and Japan and had no real chance to expand past those locations? So are you saying in a roundabout way that Sony saved Final Fantasy? I wouldn't say they saved it, but they expanded it. Okay, which I'll, could, take yeah, which you could take. I'll take that. I'll take that. I don't think it's a save because they weren't dying at the time, but like, who knows what would have happened in that future if they continued to be limited to those locations? 11 minutes. I had to blow my salvation. Oh, she is. There's That's a lot of me. background noise coming from you, Carlos. Oh, sorry. But yeah, like, I don't know what's happening with that. So, like, that's my view on it. Like, we didn't get, like, we didn't get Final Fantasy 1 to 6 until the PS1 era. And I think there was one on the DS, right? Yeah. I think it was free. Mm-hmm. Which was the 3D free version. Anyway. Yeah. Got so two you, minutes you to don't, go. please don't go back to Nintendo. And I don't have that long either myself. So we better carry like, on. Like, just done everything they've done. You know, shafting classic IPs to the side, firing, like, iconic developers, like, uh, completely failing to grow and evolve their brand in any meaningful way. Completely, you know, creating Final Fantasy X-2, like, one of the greatest, most abhorrent things in the history of video games. Like... You monster! You absolute... You you horrid, complete monster! I'm sorry. I'm... No, I'm out. Bye. Tilly, don't go. Don't go. I think it's gone. Say that again? (laughs) Replay that? I will. Mine. Pharmacy 10-2. It had, okay. You're going to joke about the characters being blah, blah, blah. But the story was bad. He said said that Pharmacy 10-2 was bad. In the shortest way. I mean, it was better than what 10 was. Final Fantasy X-2 had until I would say at least 12 and even then I still think that X-2 had a bad job system. I think in, in I think X-2 had one of the greatest job battle systems in any Final Fantasy game. It was very inventive actually. The sphere, Dress Sphere good? Yeah, I think it was incredible. It was now, you, might not like the, you might not like the way it looked or how the characters looked but the actual Dress Sphere system was just amazing it was fun to switch in battle there was different types it was a there was so many different ways that you could do fights and you could abuse different weaknesses you could make this it was just such a good title uh, i like 10 too yeah, i got the remastered version around here somewhere i agree really the story weird. wasn't great uh it's really weird because uh the ps2 version of final fantasy 10 is looks way better than the remastered version of. Time I agree. Time. I don't know and what now, they now did. Now, if you now, now if you said now if you pooped on Final Fantasy Ten Three, which technically exists as an audio drama, then sure, that's bad. But we're not not talking about Ten Three. But they they said they, they might look at revisit Ten Three at some point in the future. Yeah, but don't ever actually do Ten Three, please. It's bad. And look, the audio drama was half an hour long. That can't cover everything. That just brought Sin back. I just find it funny as hell that we get about a minute into Harmon's video before Chili has another rant each time. Sorry. 
I'm That's trying cool. not to because I've got nine minutes until raid. So. All right, let's continue. If you really, really think about it, like Square Enix did. is a cautionary tale of what developers believe what will happen to developers if they turn against Nintendo, right? They they thought that with their iconic oh, Final wow. Fantasy brand, you know, which was one of the most lucrative at the time, that they could partner with oh. PlayStation, that they could, uh, and, yeah. you, you know, uh, make all of their games. PlayStation. And it was successful. It was successful for, what, 20 years? For 20-something years. I it mean, he's too young. He doesn't know that the original Final Fantasy games were NES and SNES. Yeah, Chrono Only Trigger in... was a GOAT game. We got Chrono Cross eventually for the uh, PlayStation Only 1. Only in America. Only well, in America. True. Those, were ne- true. those were never really since in Europe. But there's also the Visions of... Or not Visions, but uh, the Secret of Mana games, yeah. which were SNES. But then you've got Dragon Quest. which All in the Dragon Quest is games. A, which is a bigger IP than Final Fantasy has ever been. True. As much as I love Final Fantasy, Dragon, Qu- Dragon Quest had its own holiday. Yep. When a Dragon Quest and Dragon Quest Builders one and two were both for the Switch. Yeah, that's still Square Enix. But but he wants Final Fantasy. I mean, yes, Secret of Evermore. That's another one. If you want Final Fantasy, spoilers: Nintendo needs better hardware. Yeah, I actually genuinely thought he was about to say buy a PlayStation. I mean, and then order me kick. I'm not going to touch mean, that. Am I 100% wrong, though? You either buy a PlayStation or buy an Xbox or buy a PC. Absolutely. See, I'll, I'll allow that because you said Xbox. Okay. Let's continue. You have right. I mean, he even said 20 PC. seconds. Who yeah. said that they could make PlayStations fly off their shelves and they would just be able to coast off of that. It did fly off the shelves. Off of their Nintendo, uh, off of the success they established in the Nintendo era. Right? But they they thought... They would people would coast off of the Final Fantasy VI like uh, love forever, but you know even when Final Fantasy VII came out, you know there were plenty of people who said who said that like wow VI was better on Super Nintendo. No, they Final didn't. Fantasy... A lot of people said that seven was amazing. I mean, sure, some people still say six is better, but some people I, you know, I'll go back. And seven say was absolutely one. amazing. Yeah, and seven was incredible. I mean. It's the first time that they integrated 3D polygon graphics into their games with a walk around open world. Yeah. It was absolutely stellar. And it was a proprietary engine that they developed for that game specifically mm-hmm. to that. And funny enough, if you actually go back and um, look at the files on the PC version, you can actually see the W uh, or the MKV files where when you're in game, your character is walking around as those MKVs are playing. And I don't think people realize that those are actual full movie clips of you walking around on your character while the MKV is playing. They think it's just part of the game. Sorry, carry on. Fantasy 7 is a massive step down, and that feeling kept growing with Final (laughs) Fantasy 8, Final Fantasy 9, Final Fantasy 10, Final Fantasy 10 2, Final Fantasy 11. Which isn't even really an RPG, right? You know, Final Fantasy XII. Wait, what? <laughs> Final Fantasy XI is not an RPG. Wait, what? Go, go play the the Chains of Promethea storyline. Go play the the Rise of Zillet storyline and tell me it's not an RPG. There, there's some amazing storylines in eleven. Chains of Promethea was so. You can good. tell that he hasn't 11. played it. Yeah, Chains of Promethea. This is why I said like uh, the storyline in eleven is phenomenal even when you're looking at treasures of actergon it's all just yeah. really damn good like the mmo storylines in my opinion trump almost i reckon they trump all the storylines the two mmos just have the yeah. best storylines by far maybe because they've got you know, in the chat makes a good point i don't think he knows that super mario rpg was made by square enix yeah. Oh, that is true. <laughs> How does he feel about that one? Because that's actually the first franchise back on the Super Nintendo that was made by an outside company for a first party IP. Wasn't it? Yeah. 
Isn't seven? Uh, yeah, seven is a lot of people's favorites. Then it's followed by six, and I would say ten. Ten is like my favorite. Ten, seven, six, ten, and then nine, maybe. Look, ten, seven, had, nine. twelve, eight for me. I'm sorry, ten had something that none of them have. Ten had one Lulu. thing that none of them have. Ha 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 ha! They've even released a whole soundtrack the, based on that. You oh, even God. also have that. I think it, is it ten or ten two? I think it's ten. But I, I, this is why I don't like Wacker, by the way. Um, during the scene where um, that would have been ten. During the scene when Al, um, the the Albed's homeland is blown up, right? They they mm -hmm. they blow mm -hmm. it up. And then Waka turns around to Riku, who is half Elbed, by the way. She is, she is half Elbed. And he goes, yeah, it's like happy festival fireworks. <laughs> yep. While her hometown gets blown up, I'm like... Susanna, I like Tintu. Really? Yeah, it's like happy festival fireworks. I, I really no, like Tintu. Oh, no, I also said I like Tintu. Don't worry. We, we, Tintu we was all right. We already made that statement about Tintu. Yeah, Dress Fear was awesome. 30 seconds, chat. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Which 31. is like some weird Xenoblade knockoff thing. Like, again, Final Fantasy 13. And now, look at where we are now. You know, Final Fantasy 14. After a decade of support, over a decade of support, this is what the game has amounted to. An absolute disaster of a release that will lead to the to the further decline of Square Enix. <laughs> no. Closing force, Chili. He's not wrong. At the start, I've got to agree with him. 14 had issues with 1.0. It did have flaws, um, but a lot of the points he's point out are just incredibly stupid and flawed. And coming from a place where someone has not actually had, um, researched any of the game at all, and he's just going off any type of information that he's heard on from social media, or even not even heard about the information on social media, but instead pulled it all from his bum. If if I if I feel like you can I can even say that, like he's pulled it from the air. He is Nintendo. Sure, in America and Japan, maybe Nintendo was a factor. But in Europe, where you, we never got a Final Fantasy game until Final Fantasy VII, uh, by the way, uh, Chaos is showing on screen what Final Fantasy VII on N sixty on um, on the N sixty four would have looked like. It's not good. It's not great. Who would want this? I'm sorry, but really, if the issue he okay, I'm just going to clear this issue up. He loves Nintendo. He wants everything to be on Nintendo. He what he he wants to gobble Nintendo's hardware. Like he, he loves it. He what he. He, he 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 talks about us grinding for hours. He wants to grind that Nintendo for hours. Um, but Nintendo's issue was the fact that they started stop pushing for hardware. They started to sort of like go for the profits. So they started going for limp. While PlayStation and Xbox kept pushing further and further hardware. And Square Enix, Fantasy Games have always been a showcase for both graphics and storytelling. That is one thing that they were known for back in the day, for their CGI, for their impressive graphics. Even on the NES and NES, NES, they were known for their incredible sprite work, for their cutscene work, for their open world. They were known to push the boundaries of the genre at the time. So if they had stuck with the N64 like they could have, we would get this. And this would not have been pushing anything at L. They would have been limited on cartridge space, they would have, which would limit their cutscenes, that limit their graphics, limited their locations. It's Nintendo that caused them to pull away. This wasn't Sony. I'm sure Sony gave them a, a ton of money to help them, but it was the hardware. Sorry, that was the reason why they stepped away from Nintendo. But they still made Nintendo games. There were still games moved over to Nintendo. Like there was still stuff being ported over. Square Enix didn't just completely abandon Nintendo. Like you seem to think they did. It's just that the, the games couldn't run on those systems. And I'm sure if when the Switch 2 comes out, if it can run Final Fantasy 7, we might see Final Fantasy 7 trilogy on the Switch 2 with Rebirth, Remake, and whatever the, the third one's going to be. That, that that could all come to the Switch 2 eventually. I could like, see it being a digital only. 
yeah, Digital Only, but like I can see it happening maybe. But yeah, but, like, playing the trilogy and knows? playing it on the Switch too, yeah. I agree. Yeah. But like I just a lot that you just haven't looked into the you're just reacting to what you think people are saying and you've said literally nothing. You you this entire eight minute videos, we said more than you did, and you literally said nothing. You just said it was bad. That's not describing why it's bad. You just said it's bad. And something isn't bad just because it's bad. There's reasons for something to be bad. And unless you give those reasons for something to be bad, then it can't be that bad. You have to give the reason for it to be bad. Absolutely. He finally sounds like an Xbox guy. (laughs) I will say, Chili, you are being critical in the right way of both PlayStation and Nintendo and Xbox. There is nothing that you said in that statement that is separate from any console or even PC from one to the other. Thank you. You are a gamer, and that is what counts. And that is what the point is between being a PlayStation gamer, whether you're a pony or not, and a fanboy. All I'm saying is that this is going to be a big upload because this video is going <laughs> It's going to be titled Chili's Breakdown with <laughs> against Harmon. Chili's rant. Chili's but, uh, Harmon rant. That oh. is going to be it for me for today, folks. Uh, Chili, how, thank you for joining yep. me on. And uh, Chili, I knew you'd have loved this <laughs> React video. I knew it was right up oh. your street. And I think the chat agrees with me that I did phenomenally well in bringing you on at just the right time for this react because it was glorious in so many different ways but we'll get chili like an xbox games yet 